hello friends in our previous lecture we have completed the uh, first part of account that is chapter number 7 now in statistics and in accountancy both first part is completed so today onwards we are going to start with second part of uh, statistics that is chapter number 1 probability one of the most important chapters of statistics that is probability because for our higher studies this chapter is quite important to learn because it contains so much basic plus necessary concepts about the probability uh, okay it's a uh, not new thing for you that probability you have learned in chapter number 10 uh, sorry not chapter number you have learned in standard 10 you all are familiar what is probability but friends here in this chapter in a detailed way you will learn all the concepts of probability plus uh, you will also revise one thing which was learned in standard 11 that is permutations and combinations as you all remember that in standard 11th in statistics we have learned combinations permutations and binomial expansion so all that concepts are also repeated here as i said in standard 11th also that sums relating to permutations and combinations are very important this is a total good base for you and which will be used in standard 12th so now it is useful here so today we are going to start with the first chapter of statistics part 2 probability now friends first we shall know what is probability in simple words i can say that probability is a chance how suppose if today i am going outside for uh, just for enjoyment or just for fun then probability that it will not rain today okay it is not a rainy season but uh, you suppose that it is a rainy season I am going out for my entertainment and I am not taking my umbrella with me. Now, will it rain today or not? Will be decided on basis of a probability. Then, according to the atmosphere seen in the sky, I can decide that okay, 70% is certain to rain, but in remaining 30%, it is not certain for raining. Okay, so I will think in that way. So now it will rain or not rain, it is a chance, it is not certain, it is not fixed that today it will rain. Okay, there are so much experts that also are telling in an estimated way. They cannot tell it completely that it will rain today. So it is not certain. So in short we can say that probability is a chance. Okay, probability is a chance. Now in this chapter, we are starting with the important concepts of probability which we want to know first for solving any sum. So we are uh, starting that thing. On page number 2, random experiment and sample space, uh, they are explaining through three examples, three experiments. Okay, to understand what is a random experiment, without giving any of the explanation first they are giving you three types of experiments that is as you can see in the first picture tossing a coin throwing a balanced dice and uh, a wheel with a arrow and rotating wheel and rotating that wheel and where it will stop now all these three experiments are random because while tossing a coin you cannot decide whether it will be heads or tail but still you know there are only two chances it can be a head or it can be a tail in a similar way a balanced dice there are um, numbers from 1 to 6 in a dice while tossing a balanced dice you cannot decide that which number will appear on the dice but still you can know there are total 6 elements so any one element will occur in the same way a wheel to which number the arrow will stop you cannot decide but still you know there are numbers from 0 to 9 so in short in a random experiment we can say that all the possible outcomes are known but which outcome will occur that is unknown and such an experiment is called a random experiment 
Now we are reading the exact definition. And random experiment is defined as follows. Now you have to underline the experiment which can be independently repeated under identical means same conditions and all the possible outcomes are known. But which of the outcomes will appear cannot be predicted with certainty before conducting the experiment is called a random experiment. Means they are telling that you can repeat that experiment under same condition at n times you want and you can know all the possible outcomes of the experiment but which outcome will occur you cannot know and such an experiment is called a random experiment its characteristics are given you tick that three characteristics a random experiment can be independently repeated under almost identical conditions means same conditions all possible outcomes of a random experiment are known but which of the outcomes will appear cannot be predicted before conducting the experiment and last the random experiment results into a certain outcome means uh, we don't know which outcome will occur but at last there will be a one outcome okay so this was about random experiment now we are going for sample space okay now what do you mean by sample space the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called a sample space of that random experiment sample space is generally denoted by u or s elements of sample space are called sample points sample points so underline the whole paragraph again we will read what is a sample space the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment Suppose we are having one coin, so all the possible outcomes of a coin, of single coin is head and tail, so that sample space will be heads and tails. If there are two coins, then elements will be four, because two square, head, tail, tail, head, tail, tail, head, head, all that elements. So again, that is a sample space. Tomorrow we will learn when we are doing the sums in detail, today we are just taking an introduction to this chapter, all the basic words also. So today we are taking the introduction, tomorrow we will come to know what are they, okay? And the elements of sample points are called sample points. Okay. On page number 4. See, you have to underline what I am telling, okay? This is. Now, on page number 4, types of sample space are given. A finite sample space and infinite sample space. Now, as the word suggests, finite sample space means the elements which are countable. In the same way, infinite sample space means elements are uncountable. If the total number of possible outcomes in a sample space is finite, then it is called a finite sample space. And if the to total number of possible outcomes in a sample space of a random experiment is infinite, then it is called a infinite sample space. Okay. Now, on page number 5, below, events, certain event, impossible event and special events. Now we are going to learn different types of events. Number one, single event. What do you mean by an event? So you have to underline from where I am telling. First I am reading and then we will decide what to underline. A subset of sample space of a random experiment is called an event. Events are generally denoted by A, B, C or A1, A2, A3. Underline that one thing from starting, underline till A3. So, event means a subset of sample space. Means, in a sample space, suppose there are number 1 to 10. Now, you want all the even numbers. So, your event will be in all the even numbers. Okay? Yes. And last line you also you have to underline, this is denoted by A subset U. Means, event A is a subset of U. Means, all the elements of finite sample space are in U. Okay. On page number 6, impossible event. What do you mean by this impossible event? The special subset, phi set or null set of the sample space of a random experiment is called an impossible event. Impossible event is an event which never occurs. It is denoted by a phi set or a null set. Underline that whole thing. The event which cannot occur is known as a impossible event. Okay, and it is denoted by a phi set or a null set. Next, certain event. The special subset U of a sample space of a random experiment is called a certain event. 
the certain event as event which all, always occurs it is denoted by u and event which is always occurring is a certain event and which is not occurring is called a impossible event so underline this okay next is complementary event on page number 6 complementary event suppose u is a finite sample space and a is one of its event the set of all the outcomes or elements of u which are not in event a is called a complementary of event a complementary is denoted by a dash a bar ac so what they are telling all the outcomes which are in u but not in a is called a complementary event see what they are telling that set of all the outcomes of u which are not in a which are not in a will be in u that is a complementary of event a and it is denoted by a dash a bar or ac okay and see below uh, you have to underline till ac you have to underline till that much and again in the below one thing is given that also need to be underlined a dash is equals to complementary of event a is equals to non occurrence of event a is equals to u minus a underline that thing also now next page number 7 intersection of events suppose a and b are two events of a finite sample space u the event where a and b occur simultaneously is called intersection of two events a and b it is denoted by a intersection b a intersection b is equals to intersection of two events simultaneous occurrence of a and b whole thing you have to underline and you can understand by the figure given here also that here a and b are intersecting and the common elements of a and b are called its intersection event next on page number 7 union of events suppose a and b are any two events of a finite sample space u event where event a occurs or b occurs or both of event a and b occurs is called union of events it is denoted by a union b a union b is equals to union of events a and b is equals to a occurs or b occurs or both occurs or at least one of them occurs you have to write the whole it means you have to underline the whole thing and in the figure also you can see event a or b or intersection or whole event means at least one is occurring then it is called a union of events next page number 8 mutually exclusive events now what do you mean by this mutually exclusive events suppose a and b are any two events of a finite sample space u events that a and b do not occur together which means a intersection b is equals to null set underline till that much only means where a and b are not intersecting that are called mutually exclusive their intersection will be a null set they cannot occur together okay then next number in different events suppose a and b are any two events of sample space u the set of elements or outcomes where a happens but b does not happen is called difference event of a and b it is denoted by a minus b and underline till that much then again what is given below that also you need to underline a minus b is equals to a intersection b dash why a intersection b dash it means event a is occurring and b is not occurring so b is not occurring so b is complement will occur and is equals to a minus a intersection b is equals to a union b minus b all these are the formulas which you have to remember then a minus b what does it means difference event of a minus b event that only a happens b does not happen only a happens out of a and b so see there are two types of different events a and b are given together so events such that only a occurs and b does not occur see here a is occurring b is not occurring whereas in the uh, next page b is occurring a is not occurring so this is b minus a this is a minus b same explanation is given so whole thing you underline here also and here also see friends why i am telling to underline the reason is that because in sum in sums we need all these things so it is important to underline these concepts read it it is only repetition what you have learned in standard 10 so that you can know what we are learning okay it is not a such a difficult thing okay then next event is exhaustive events on page number 9 <coughs> 
if the group of favorable outcomes of events of random experiment is the sample space then the events are called exhaustive events suppose a and b are any two events of sample space u events that a and b are called exhaustive events if two events are a sample space means by combining the elements of a and b you get the whole sample space that events are known as exhaustive events by uh, by uh, obtaining the whole sample space from both events a and b you get the whole sample space then that events are exhaustive events so underline the whole thing now on page number 10 mutually exclusive and exhaustive see mutually exclusive means their intersection is zero exhaustive means by uh, by combining the elements of a and b you get the whole sample space so now both are together then what is the thing to be remembered suppose a and b are two events of infinite uh, sorry finite sample space u these two events a and b are called mutually exclusive and inter and exhaustive events if a intersection b is null set and a union b is equal to whole sample space means you need to fulfill two conditions their intersection should be zero and their union should be the whole sample space then last elementary events the events formed by the subsets of single elements of a sample space u of a random experiment are called elementary events elementary events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive so again underline the whole thing so friends today we have obtained the introduction of all the types of events all these events you have to remember you have to understand so that we can start the sums from tomorrow so that's all for today thank you so much